Hello, my name is Renata and I have come here to your Brochdale South Kindergarten to paint your Aboriginal painting, your mural in your dirt patch. Now I have painted the totem animal of this area which is the sand goanna. The sand goanna is a large lizard that the Yugara people call maroon. Can you say maroon? And the maroon represents strength and lots of good energy, but not just physical strength, inner strength, the strength to always play with all our friends, the strength to say sorry if we ever hurt anyone, and the strength to always be a good, kind friend. You can see three sand goannas here. One here you can see is brown and he's got stripes and he represents the boys, the male energy here at the kindy. And this blue one with the swirls represents the girl, the female energy here at the kindy. And this guy in the middle with the green, he represents the land that all the boys and girls run on here at Rochdale South Kindy. This is what it looked like before we put paint on it. So I had to come to your kindy with my paint and my paintbrush and we sat out in the sunshine and talked about what we were going to paint. I've outlined three sand goannas with my stick that somebody found and I've outlined where they're going to go and the children are all going to come up and put their fingerprint down here to show our tribe here at kindy. Here's how I outline the sand goannas and then I have to get some black paint as a base to put on them. Can you see the shapes now? And now we are ready to put our fingerprints down on the ledge and we get the paint ready. I wonder what these colours are for. If you look around, what's green in nature? That's right. What about blue? What's blue in nature? Sky. Yeah. And what about, what other colour do we have there? Brown. What about brown? What's brown in nature? Dirt. Very good. Very good. And then bring it over here. Brown. Okay, put it down. Oh, good job. Everyone at Kindy got to put their fingerprint down. And after we put our fingerprints down, we're going to do some dot and then, painting and put the dots of all our family members on our fingerprint. On your fingerprint, we're using sticks and feathers to put the dots down. Good job, Connor. Dots big. These white dots here represent my five grandchildren who call me Mummy, which is grandmother in Finnish. Our families grew and grew. Mrs. Thompson put her family down. Mrs. Harvey put her family down. Mrs. Warner put her family down. Everyone at Kindy put their family down with a dot painting. And a black circle outline for each person. Can you see the swirly lines with the capital E shapes down them? These represent the Sangoana's tracks because when he walks through the sand, that's the track that he leaves behind. While I've been painting, I had a little visitor. Come on, I'll show you. A very hairy centipede came to visit. He decided to climb up the mural, right to the top. Now, if you ever see a centipede like this, make sure you get the teacher if he's close to the children because he might make you very itchy. But I made sure that I got him on a stick very carefully and put him back in nature where he belongs. The brown maroon represents the boys 
at Rochdale South Kindy. And the green maroon represents the land and the blue maroon represents all of the girls and the boys and the girls all play together at Rochdale South Kindy on Yugara land and they all play together kindly. You can see the sign through the fence when you walk past Kindy, even when you go back to school. And I might come back another day and sing some songs for you. But in the meantime, 